Welcome to Team Quiz H. Here goes the first question. Who built Gold Goombas? Gold Goombas, the famous monument in Bijapur, was built by Adil Shah. Second question. What fruit is known as Indian date? It is tamarind. Tamarind is known as Indian date. Third question. Who was Kanakadasa's guru? Sri Vyasaraya Swamiji was Kanakadasa's guru. Fourth question. Which river has on its bank the city of Cairo? It is river Nile. Fifth question. What is the seventh incarnation of Lord Vishnu? Sri Rama, Lord Vishnu, takes avatar as Sri Rama. Sixth question. What do you mean by the term insolvent? Insolvent means bankrupt. Somebody when he goes bankrupt, he is not in a position to pay even the loans what he has taken from the bank. His properties have got sold out. He has nothing in his hand. Then he is declared as insolvent. Seventh question. What do you mean by capital punishment? Capital punishment means death sentence. When we say he has been awarded capital punishment, it means he is going to die in gallows or by some other means. It is death sentence. Eighth question. What is E.T. in the film by the same name? Or expand E.T. E.T. means extraterrestrial. E.T. Ninth question. Who explored a great deal of Central Africa between 1849 and 1873? Africa was being regarded as a dark continent. And no discoverer was ready to go deep into Africa. So, Africa remained an enigma for a long time. It was David Livingstone, David Livingstone, who took it up as a challenge and explored the central part of Africa, including the Victoria Falls. Okay, tenth question. How many eggs does a peacock lay in a year? It's only a pea hen that lays eggs. Peacock doesn't lay eggs. Eleventh question. Who was Dhritarashtra's mother? in Mahabharata. Ambika. The answer is Ambika. Ambika was Dhritarashtra's mother. Twelfth question. Who appoints the non-permanent members of the Security Council?
the non permanent members of the security council are appointed by the general assembly of the united nations 13th question what do you call a declaration of plans and promises put forth by a candidate or a political party for election purpose it's known as manifesto manifesto it is an important paper put forth by a party or a candidate declaring what he would do in case he is elected his plans and promises are detailed out in the manifesto 14th question under what circumstances or conditions do a feather and a steel ball fall together it is in a vacuum if we just drop a feather and a steel ball together the steel ball due to gravity will come down very fast but the feather will sail in wind and come down it will float float in wind and come down very slowly but in a vacuum in a vacuum if these two are dropped both will reach the ground simultaneously because there is no air inside which may turn to be hurdle hurdle for the feather to come down 15th question now what is the art of shooting with a bow and arrow shooting with a bow and arrow is termed as archery archery 16th question who is known as father of modern chemistry anthony lavoisier he is the one who discovered oxygen and he is known as the father of modern chemistry 17th question what do you call the process of wearing away of the land surface by natural agents like wind and water it is called erosion erosion 18th question what does the latin numeral c stand for the latin numeral c stands for 100 19th question name the city of arabian nights the city of arabian nights it's baghdad baghdad was the capital and it's in and around baghdad all these stories do take place 20th question what do you call the frame of a motor vehicle the frame the body has not been built the frame is there what do you call the frame the frame of a motor vehicle is termed as chassis chassis 21st question name the muscle that separates our chest from the abdomen there is a muscle in between the chest and the abdomen what do you call that muscle it is diaphragm diaphragm separates the abdominal portion from the chest portion it's because of the movement of the diaphragm that we are in a position to breathe breathing takes place 
taking air in and giving air out. The entire process goes on because of the movement of the diaphragm. What are erythrocytes? In medicine, what are erythrocytes? Erythrocytes are RBCs, red blood corpuscles. 23rd question. Approximately what percentage of an iceberg is above water? Icebergs float on water. Approximately 10% of the iceberg will be above the surface of the water. And 90% of it will be below water. So icebergs, usually what we see are not. They are much bigger. They are 10 times bigger than what we actually see on the surface of water. 24th question. What do you call animals that draw or carry heavy loads? Animals that draw or carry heavy loads like elephants, camels, donkeys, we call them as draught animals. Draught animals, D R A U G H T. Last question, 25th one. In which industry is a clapper board used? It is the film industry. There, a clapper board is used which puts everybody on action and we're taking photos or Recording starts. Thank you.